Hey everybody, this is John from Code Planet. Uh, back with another video about Git. Uh, this is going to be more of an advanced video, but it's one of my favorite features that Git offers, and I think one that a lot of people don't know about, which is Git bisect. Um, so to start off, we're going to pose a little bit of a contrived problem, uh, and it's going to take a minute, so you're going to have to bear with me, but it's going to be worth it. Uh, so if we make a new folder, like Git2, something like that, and we CD into there, and we do a Git init, uh, pretty normal so far. So let's open up, like, we'll touch a file called, like, index.js. And then we'll add all of the, everything, which is just that file. And then we'll get commit, you know, first commit, something like that. So then we'll look in here, and we'll write, like, um, everything is good. And then we'll add all that. And then we'll save it as second commit. Uh, obviously, I should be using better... Uh, commit messages, but we're not really doing all that much, so I think it's all right for now. Uh, so we'll do everything is good. Oh yeah, and then add everything, and then let's see if we can speed this up a little bit. Uh, we'll do third commit. Uh, open it up, delete that, add everything. Fourth commit. All right, and so like a certain point in your project. Uh, everything goes from being good to being bad. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll add that, and then we'll commit uh, fifth commit. Uh, and then things stay bad for a while. Oh no. Uh, and so, as contrived as this is, the idea here is that you know something can go bad at some point in your code base, uh, and you might not notice it. Um, so open it again. Uh, terrible. Terrible. There we go. Seventh commit. Okay, so you come onto the project about this time. Uh, let's clear out of there. And you open up the file and you see something is like totally wrong. Or maybe you don't even notice it in the source code, but you're browsing this website that you made and you see this bug. And you're not sure when the bug was introduced. And so that's like kind of the, that's the thing that you're trying to figure out is like, at what point was this code still good? So a kind of manual way you could do it, right, is you could do like a git log, uh, and you can go like all the way down to the first commit, right, and you can like copy it, and then you could do like a git show on that commit and be like, oh, um, okay, that, a file was just created, right, something like that. And then you could do another git log, and you can go all the way down to the second commit. Oops. And you can grab that, and then you can get do a git show on that commit and be like, oh, okay, like here, look, everything's good here. You can see that at the, at the bottom there. Um, but a much better way to do it is with a git bisect. And so what a git bisect is going to do for anybody that's done comp size stuff, it's like a binary search. And so it's going to go, you know, right into the middle of all of our commits and you're going to get a chance to look and see if the bug is still there. And you tell it whether it's good or bad at that point. And then it'll, you know, be able to eliminate half of all your commits based on what you say. So then it'll jump in the mid, the new middle of what it's got left. Uh, and so it's like, you know, the more commits you have in a code base, the better the savings of a git bisect, essentially. Um, so for anybody working on like a big project with a lot of people, this is like a really, really, really great thing to have. Uh, and you can, when you're in the middle of the bisect, you can either view the code to see if the bug's there or not. Uh, or you can even just run a local server, you know, with that SHA uh, and, you know, test the bug out on the web. Uh, so what we're going to do here... I'm going to clear, and we're going to do a git bisect start. Uh, so, okay, so we're at master, right? Um, so we could do something like we could look in here. We can see that it's bad, right? So we can do git bisect bad. And then we can do git bisect next. Okay, so now it's going to take us to three revisions in, which is like basically in the middle of our project. Uh, and I can go ahead and I can open index. I can be like, oh man, everything is good here. That's great. You know, so I can do git bisect good. Um, so that's awesome. And now it's taken me to another commit. You can see here that, you know, I was on master. Then I got moved to this SHA. Now I'm moved on to this SHA. So I can open up index here and be like, oh man, everything's bad in this one. You know, so I can do git bisect bad. Um, and now it's taking me to another shot. We can see that it's different here. So I'll open it up again. Honestly, I could just like cat this since it's one line. Everything is good here. So git bisect good. Um, and then bam, it's done. And so it says this is the first bad commit. You know, the fifth commit is the bad commit. 
Uh, and so if I go ahead and I take that and I do a git show on it, sure enough, this was the commit where I removed everything is good and I added everything is bad. So this is a pretty simple example, but I hope you can see how useful it'll be, um, you know, in a big code base when you've got anything like that. Uh, so yeah, let me know if there's anything else about git you'd like to see in the comments.